Season opening race weekend for the BMW IBSF Bobsleigh and Skeleton World Cup at Segulda in Latvia, where last season finished. First action is from Women's Skeleton on Friday morning. Heading into the second heat with an intriguing podium of possibility, Kim Milmans of Belgium lies seventh. A good start and a rocking second run on a track that was losing pace rapidly to go ahead of world champion Tina Hermann of Germany. Anna Fernstedt, formerly from Germany, for the last two seasons she's been racing in the World Cup as a slider from the Czech Republic. And her skills at finding speed down the track have not diminished. She squeezed ahead by 900s to take the lead. German rookie Hannah Neisser and Great Britain's Olympic bronze medalist Laura Dees had both dropped down the order as we got to the final three. World Cup debutante Indija Teralda from Latvia was third after the first heat and squeezed just one hundredth of the head of Fernstedt to guarantee herself a her first ever World Cup medal on her first day. Kimberly Boss of the Netherlands, she had a near four tenths advantage over Teralda. The girl who struggled even to make the second heat last year with lots of injuries was in fine form. Driving herself into a silver medal, her first World Cup medal since Pyeongchang 2017, her best ever result. The only podium finisher from the last two years that was in with even a sniff of the medals was last year's bronze medalist Janine Flock, the first round leader. 5,500s up from heat one. She speared away to win by nearly double that. Another exemplary performance from the Austrian veteran. 8300s ahead, her first gold medal of the season. Janine Flock is going to be a force again this season. With the winner for the last two years, Elena Nikitina, only ninth, it's a different look to the podium in Segulda. They'll race here again in a week's time in the second round of the series. Darkness and rain falling on Friday afternoon, changing the nature of the track for the men's skeleton competition, with the two Ducours brothers leading after heat one. And Germany's Alexander Gassner in a tight battle for the medals, 66 hundredths off the lead, but within two tenths of a silver medal. And an absolutely flying run from the German slider. A good quick start, but a much improved performance, putting him into the lead. Gassner was still ahead when Matt Weston of Great Britain came to the line in only his second ever World Cup race. He also moved up the order, dropping behind the German, but pulling ahead of Nikita Tregobov and Craig Thompson, his teammate, and Alexander Trechikov, the Russian rocket. So Weston was still in the lead as Felix Keisinger of Germany came to the line. A super fast starter who normally has a throwaway first run but a good one in Segulda with a better one in Heat 2. Left him tied with a jubilant Gassner as the leaders with two sleds to come. Those two, however, are local heroes. Thomas Ducours finished second to Brother Martins in February in the season finale this year. They went 1-2 in the European Championships, but today was not Thomas's day. Changing conditions in the second heat caught him out and he slipped behind the two Germans. One remained. Martins Ducours with a six-tenths of a second advantage from the first of the two heats. Last year's World Cup champion, for the ninth time by the way, started his title defence with two flying runs to take a near one second advantage over his closest rivals. Martins Ducours, the winner at home in Latvia, with the Germans tying for the silver medal position. They will come back to do it all again in a week's time for the second round in Segulda. Thomas Ducours finishing fourth ahead of Matt Weston and Craig Thompson, but Ducours on the top step of the podium again at home. Saturday morning and heading into the women's bobsleigh, the first race of the season, and anything seems possible. First race on this track for Germany's Laura Nolte, and in the first heat, corner 13, the real tricky one caught her out. 
She and a bright woman emerged unharmed from the sled, but no second heat for Lauren Alter and Deborah Levy. Into the second heat, top six starts for Margot Bock and Carla Seneschal, the French duo only in their third World Cup. They were six on their debut at home in La Plagne in January 2020, looking to at least match that here. But first they had to stay ahead of Andrea Greco of Romania, last year's silver medalist finishing behind them. Next up for Switzerland, Melanie Hasler and Yasmin Neif. For Hasler, a second World Cup, the veteran Neif in her third World Cup start. And a good-looking run from Melanie Hassler down the track. Made her debut here in the race in February. The insurance clerk taking the lead from the French girls. Germany's Kim Kalicki next up in fourth place and in a tight battle. Four sleds aiming for a medal, all covered by a tenth of a second in the squabble for bronze. Didn't have quite the speed of Hassler at the bottom but enough to squeeze in front and take the lead with three to go. Top three after the first heat, Martina Fontenev and Nadia Pasnak of Switzerland, but drama in turn 13. Didn't get the timing right and the sled rolled over. Martina and Nadia Pasnak, her break woman, both OK. A track hold then before Ketchenbile and Jennifer Onasanya of Austria had their run. Second in the first heat, 1300s off the lead. Would they be able to hang on? It hadn't rattled the Austrian girl and she drove her way down the track across the finish line to take her first ever World Cup medal, at least a silver guaranteed. Leader off the first heat, Germany's Mariama Yamanka with new break woman Vanessa Mark in only her second World Cup start. Yamanka crashed earlier in the week, destroyed her sled, a brand new sled she'd never driven before for race day, but it didn't stop her claiming her second win in three seasons here in Segulda. Mariama Yamanka, Kachinbal and Kim Kalicki, the podium in race one of the season here in Segulda. Saturday lunchtime and time for the first of the two two-man races this weekend in Latvia. This is where we rounded out last season, where both races were won by Latvia's Oskars Kibermanis, but he had a dreadful first heat to be only ninth. Teammate Ralph Berchins was eighth ahead of him. Even he wasn't the best of the Latvians, but he had enough in the second heat to put himself ahead of teammate Kibermanis. Patrick Baumgartner, Davis Kaufmanis, the best of the Latvians, and Seaman Friedli of Switzerland had both fallen by the wayside as we got to the fourth fastest man in heat one, Mikkel Vogt of Switzerland. Despite a big skid at the bottom, he had enough to take the lead away from the best of the Latvians. The top three sleds after heat one of two were all German. Christopher Harfer has spent actually half of all his World Cup races, seven in total up until now, on this track. And in the eighth, he couldn't quite find enough to stay in the medals. Mikel Vogt on target for his second World Cup medal ever. Francesco Friedrich won both races here the season opener two years ago. He was silver medal in race one in February, and he was behind in the first of our two heats. He took the lead from Mikel Vogt with just one sled remaining. And that was the sled of his teammate Johannes Lochner, the Bavarian 800s in front. Francesco Frugic always a tough opponent and Lochner went behind at the start and despite good speed down the track, could not quite overhaul his teammate. 400s back in silver medal position, but Francesco Frugic the winner of the first race of the new season. <laughs> The defence of his World Cup title has gone well. Mikel Vogt, the only man to break up a German clean sweep at the podium. The Latvians have work to do at home. Sunday morning and the final race of the weekend, another two-man contest, a chance to improve on the previous day or double up on your success. Second heat tie for fifth position after heat one. Christoph Harfer and Ralph Bertzins, the German who'd finished in fourth place the previous day and the Latvian who'd finished in fifth. 
Ahead of Mihai Tentea, who worked his way up the order, Harper with a good second heat, piling the pressure on the top Latvian sled after the first run. Berchins in the lead early on, but the mistake towards the end of the run cost him, and he would be just a fraction behind. Harper breaking the tie, but still no better than fifth. Seaman Friedley of Switzerland had dropped out of the front running when Mikael Vogt came to the line. Third place yesterday for his second career bronze medal. Another good run put him ahead of Mikael Vogt and guaranteed a third career bronze medal, a second in 24 hours. It was always going to be a two-horse race for Victor, though. Johannes Lochner led after heat one yesterday. He was behind after heat two. Could he overturn it? Well, he didn't have great speed at the bottom. He had enough to put Mikkel Vogt behind him, but was it enough to take gold? The final sled, yesterday's winner. A start record in heat one, another start record in heat two for Francesco Frugic and Alexander Schuller. And again, he didn't have great speed at the bottom, but it was enough to leave Johannes Lochner in the silver medal as Francesco Friedrich claimed win number two of the weekend and the season. The podium had an identical look to the previous day. Friedrich, Lochner and Vogt, the top three in the race and the World Cup standings. That's it from Segulda, the opening race weekend of the BMW IBSF Bobsleigh and Skeleton World Cup. But they stay in Latvia. We will race here in Segulda again a week from now.